Ooh, starting to get real cold down here in Georgia, but just got this in the mail because the mail doesn't quit no matter how cold it gets. It's another kit from Oz Nerf Nerd over in Australia land, complete with custom Oz Nerf Nerd pen. That's awesome. I actually will definitely use that. That's a nice little insert here. And we have, as always, plain packaging, simple parts, super lube. Oh, I hope it's Super Lube. It is, in fact, Super Lube 2 nubbins and a upgrade spring. So this can only be one thing. It is the Australian Slingfire upgrade kit, and the installation on this one is a little bit involved, so let's go into my workshop and figure that out, and then we'll do a demonstration of the kit. should be very nice if the Alpha Trooper kit is any indication. So as always, to crack open your sling fire, you come in, remove this screw, pull the stock out laterally, then undo this hidden screw, then lift all of the rest of the shell off. I haven't bothered to remove the screws from the shell because this should be a very simple drop-in install. Now, I want to get into the gearbox, which I'm going to do by removing this silver screw right here and then lifting this up gently, and there we are, we're in here, and this is the piece that I am focused on right now, but before I do anything, before I take it out, I highly recommend coming in with a Sharpie and making some tick marks, just like tick here, tick here, tick here, and here, just so you know exactly where it went in. So I'm going to do that, then lift it out, at which point I will install the plastic ABS 3D printed reinforcements, as well as this new spring, which the new spring will be super duper simple. I'm just gonna tease this out behind its catch plate and then slide it into place. Comes with super lube, so I'll install that as well. Probably just a quick grease around the gears and then throw the rest of it into the plunger tube. So I'm going to do that and show you what it looks like next. So inside the priming handle, there is these original pieces that control the ratcheting with these super duper heavy springs. Now an added bonus of using this kit is that you'll have two really heavy duty catch springs left over. So I've gone ahead and removed those. Now there's this tiny nub inside that the spring was seated on. So I'm going to grind that down before I seat in my replacement pieces. And that shouldn't be too terribly difficult. It looks reasonably thin, so it should just pop right out. So I've gone ahead and installed this spring and I went in and melted out these pegs and I decided to kind of put this kit to the test. Oz Nerf Nerd mentions that it does not really need any sort of adhesive to stay in here and then in his guide he uses a little bit of adhesive and most people I know who have used this kit have added some adhesive but it looks like such an absolutely tight fit that I'm going to try friction fitting both of them in. And I, I don't think that that's going to be a problem at all. They are very, very tight once they're in there. In fact, they are not coming out even when I'm pushing on them from the back end. So I think that these are going to be absolutely solid. So I'm going to come in here, add back on this gear cover. There we go, and then I'm going to slide this back in so that it's aligned here, here, and here with the marks that I made previously. Oh, I'm going to need this though. Alright, and that looks to be absolutely perfectly aligned, and so I'll put this back on lock that down and we'll give it some test firing. It, it seems to be a much more potent, powerful system now and I hope that that is true to form. All right, so this is the final video segment for the Sling Fire Kit by Oz Nerf Nerd. And I, I've shot a few rounds through this by now and there are a few things that I've noticed. Now, one, uh, my favorite thing about the Sling Fire was that I could do Terminator style tricks with it and that no longer is the case with the extra spring constant. It's much stiffer in its operation, which is necessary, but I can no longer do the, the flippy tricks. Firing, getting some pretty notable improvements even using these worn darts. I like to use worn darts or use darts from the SE and C pile just because that's real nerfing conditions as opposed to people who do all of their tests with brand new virgin darts because you're never going to be using those consistently throughout the day. Um, all in all, it's just a lot stiffer. There's more ratcheting 
to this motion and a much heavier click through, but definitely worth it for that increased performance, definitely a nominal increase in range and initial velocity. If I believed in chronographs, I'm sure we'd be getting at least 20, probably 30 extra FPS out of this kit, just based on what I know and kind of how it feels. That said, the, the kit is solid. It was super easy to install. Didn't have to remove hardly any internals at all to get at it. Didn't end up needing any adhesives, actually, which was very, very cool. And I'm just really pleased with the kit overall. Sure, I can no longer do any of the gimmicks, but the Slingfire is now a much more competitive blaster because of this kit. And I think that that's overall really cool. So quality of the kit, ease of installation, and overall power increase, all huge thumbs up, which is honestly, I don't mean to sound cliche, but what I've come to expect from the Osnerf Nerd web store, a lot of these products have been tested by myself and others and just seem to be aces across the board and in a world where orange mod works is slacking that's exactly what the community needed was just a good kit for every blaster that comes out that functions well and is easy to install so thanks a ton to oz nerf nerds for sending this over to me i'll put a link to it in the description box below if you're looking to upgrade a sling fire of your own oh i did something kind of funky i signed the blaster by engraving the fang signature into the stock and then sanding it flush because it's a wooden stock so I thought that, that would be kind of funky. I like how that turned out. It's not bad but that's my review of the Osnerf Nerd Slingfire upgrade kit and as always guys thanks for watching.